Thank you, Mr. Thompson. My name is Chef Van Zandt, and uh, as a uh, corporal in the Marine Corps, uh, David Hendricks. I'll get to that in just a minute, sir. Healthcare, you know, is an important issue of our day. It is something that we focus on, but it's only a small portion of the problem. Sir, the biggest problem, the, the, the entirety of the problem, is the loss of individual liberty and freedom. Yeah. Yeah. And the symptom of the problem. Congressman, we send you to Washington to be a voice for us. We, here in the state of Texas, stand proud in tradition of men who draw lines in the sand. Of men who say, there's only 150 of us, but we're going to do what we can to hold off 5,000 of them. If I am the last man standing, I'm going to stand. So far, many in this room have not been impressed by your last man standing attitude. You, you just don't seem to have that. And just like Corporal Kendrick, the Congressman Barrett said, he, he took an oath. I, as United States Marine, also took an oath to defend our Constitution against all enemies, sir, foreign and domestic. The people who are presenting that are domestic enemies to the Constitution.
Oh, it's two nines. Yeah, it's yeah, right. not nine. Yes. This is as if the national health care for all, everybody's going to be involved, be involved in it. That's not what we're talking about. Only those who need health care. That's not true. That is not true. We have, we have, we have national health care. They've covered just people who need it. If we get rid of all the parasites that sack up the money out of health care and bring it down to only the person who needs health care, his doctor, and government takes care of the bill. And right now you've got that going in, in other projects. Because every time the government has, has a national project, the government takes care of the bill. The contractors do the work, but the government takes care of the bill. That's how government works. We keep on as we are now, divided. Yeah. Republican, Democrat, and such as that. We're going to ruin this country. We're no longer united or divided. And divided we will fall. said, your problem isn't that there's not enough money in health care, it's how you spend it that's the problem. 